Hello guys, this is Spicy, and this is a review on a Bandai High Grade Universal Sentry 1144 scale Gelgook. And uh, this one is actually, uh, it's not a two pack, it's basically, uh, it has parts for you to make the Gelgook and the Gelgook Cannon. So anyway, I'm going to review uh, this one as the Gelgook, and then I will review the Gelgook Cannon. Uh, Okay, so anyway, let's take a look at the box real quick. This kit was released in 2007, making this 11 years old. So here we have the picture of the regular Galgook. And then right here we have the Galgook Cannon variant. So yeah, there we go. And here we have all the uh, option parts. Right here we have all the parts for the Galgook Cannon. And then uh, we have uh, two different head options. We have the head option for the Galgook Cannon and the Galgook. Uh, this one, this particular version looks completely ridiculous, so I'm not even going to bother building this version. And uh, we have uh, some articulations and pictures of the Galgo Cannon. And uh, original retail price in Japan is 1600 yen. You can probably find this kit in North America for around $20. Okay, so that's the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at the instruction manual. So Galgo, Galgo Cannon. Uh, this thing is made from super hard steel alloy. Galgooks are supposed to be the counter to Federation's Gundams. And uh, this one has the uh, Beam Naginata. Yeah, Beam Naginata. <laughs> and then we have the shield. Beam Cannon, 3-2 Missiles Launcher, Buckler Shield. Yeah, anyway. So here we have the picture of the Galgook Cannon in the cannon form and then here we have the uh, uh, both of them Galgook cannon and Galgook so yeah pretty cool alright so let's talk about accessories so we have one open hand obviously and then uh, we have two multi-purpose gripping hand one's holding on to the beam naginata and then uh, we have head options right here so we have the regular version and then you can make the uh, commander type which I have right here now, uh, this kit, you can actually adjust the mono eye by removing the, this part right here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I did put some water slide decal on the head. So yeah, here we have the... Uh, it's actually really hard to adjust the mono eye. Uh, once you uh, put the parts in there, it's pretty much stuck. But you can rotate uh, these two pieces to make the mono eye move but it, it's very tough so i'm not even gonna bother doing that so this is how it looks like in the non-commander form so basically it's just missing the uh commander antenna right there yeah i'm gonna opt for this look instead i think this looks better just as a regular galgo the uh the commander tie for the galgo cannon looks completely ridiculous so yeah obviously the head's on a ball joint it just plugs right into the body like so bam like that okay so open hand uh, we have the beam rifle with the trigger finger and you do have to paint the camera on the beam rifle right here uh, this is a very interesting looking beam rifle all right and then we have the shield obviously and we also have a connector piece here on the shield and we also have clips here so you can clip on the beam naginata so this thing actually is pretty interesting so to remove the beam naginata all you have to do is uh, uh, remove one of the uh, heel pieces like that and the beam naginata has two beam saber effect parts like that and you can clip it to the back of the uh, shield like so and alternatively you can also connect the uh, beam naginata onto the back of the uh, mobile suit which is pretty cool also have the connector connection point here for the shield so you can store everything on this kit yeah it's even got another connection point here on the belt or the i mean the waist so you can connect the uh, beam naginata on the back skirt actually yeah so that's pretty cool and alternatively you can remove this piece by covering it up with this piece right here so let's say if you don't want to uh, have this connection point right here you can uh, fill the gap using this piece right there so that's pretty cool 
All right, so we have the shield, we have the beam naginata, and then we have the beam rifle. So let's uh, demonstrate the beam rifle real quick. Obviously, I'm going to detach the hand right here. The beam rifle is kind of loose, so you just got to work with it a little bit. Let's see if I can get it to actually work. Without this thing falling apart <laughs> on me. Let's see. Okay. Move the joint forward. Keep the stock in place. There we go. Yeah, it can wield the beam rifle nicely. Pretty cool. I put some water slide decal on this one too. Uh, there's really not much paint painting involved other than the uh, camera on the gun. So anyway, here we go. Also have connection point here on the forearms for the shield. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, surprisingly, uh, this version of the Galgook is different from the Galgook Marine and the Galgook Jaeger. So it has a uh, different design. And as of today, I think there's uh, two version, three version of this guy. There's the Shards uh, Galgook, which is uh, this one recolor in red. And then there's also the Annabelle Gatto version, which is a premium Bandai kit. So let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. The feet is on a ball joint, so you can rotate that. 360, very nice. There's also a hinge here for the feet, like that. So you, <laughs> you can't move the feet out like this. It's kind of weird. So this is very similar to the uh, Galguk Marines design. You also have the thrusters on the back of the uh, feet or the calves and then we have a double joint the knee actually so that's actually pretty cool uh, since it's so bulky you're really not gonna get much out of that uh, old style articulation here ball joint to the polycap we have thrusters behind the uh, back skirt and this time we have skirt articulation so yeah it's very limited but at least it's better than the uh, Galgook Marine where you get no articulation whatsoever for the side skirt so yeah, this one is actually on the hard plastic uh, ball joint. So yeah, it kind of just popped out on me. But anyway, at least you get something. So it really doesn't help with the articulation for the legs whatsoever. But uh, <laughs> at least you can open it up a little bit. Yeah. All right. And then on the bottom here, we also have a connection port for the uh, uh, action base. Is, this one's going to be a, a rectangular peg. There we go, right there, rectangular peg for the connection point. I'm not even going to bother putting this guy on the action base. It's not necessary. He can stand very well on his own. So, especially uh, in cannon mode, uh, it doesn't really need to be on the action base whatsoever. Okay, so the waist is on the straight peg to the polycap, and then uh, the uh, the app section is on the ball joint. So you can you can have some sort of app crunch on this side to side. It's not very possible. And then the shoulder is on this butterfly joint, so you can move the shoulder out like so and move it back like that. Um, yeah, head is on a ball joint. Whoops. I'm probably going to glue this piece in <laughs> permanently. And, uh, yeah, the shoulders is on this, uh, the shoulder armor is actually a separate piece that's sandwiched between the, uh, uh, the shoulders. It's just, uh, sandwiched right there into this straight peg. So, yeah, and I'll also have a poly cap that connects to this peg. So, you can get decent range of motion. Yeah, you can go out that far, which is pretty cool. We also have the bicep swivel. And then we have the single bend for the elbow. Hand is obviously on the ball joint. And yeah, and to convert this guy into the Galgo Cannon, all you have to do is remove the back piece right here. 
and then uh, we grab the uh, backpack stick that in there remove these sections right here Uh, connect this three triple cannon piece right here on the forearm like that take the shield connect it right here swap out the head yeah we have a completely different head right here for the Gelgu cannon with the camera so yeah once again you can also adjust the mono eye on this one I think this one's a little bit easier so yeah take a look at that so much easier you can see the design of this head really kind of reminds me of the Zaku cannon you can see the front of the face very very uh, similar to the design of the Zaku cannon alright so right here let's plug that in there like that and then I'm not even gonna bother using this one because take a look this thing is gonna look so ridiculous on there and let's see what else can you do oh. uh, according to the instruction manual you're supposed to attach the uh, beam naginata on the back skirt like that and now it's complete here we have the uh, zaku cannon oh not the zaku cannon the gelgu cannon yeah all right so activate the bicep so uh yeah the bicep so the cannon can go up and down like that. We have a shield right here. You know what? I actually prefer the uh, Galgo cannon mode over the uh, uh, the regular Galgo. It just looks so cool. And there we go. That's the uh, Galgo and Galgo cannon. Uh, I definitely recommend picking this kit up if you're a fan of the Galgo. I know the Galgo isn't very popular, but it's it's pretty cool and that's pretty much it for this review i hope you guys find the information helpful and as always thanks for watching